David Spence, the evil genius, with your lab secrets tip of the day. Hey guys, I want to tell you today how you can go with your responsive theme from this to this. How would you like to have a gorgeous responsive full background width slider that you could control? It has the ability to add any kind of imagery. You can also have a title tag, etc. Best part about it is it can be used across your whole site with one checkbox if you're using our responsive lab theme setup. Okay, let me show you how this works. Now, what we're going to be doing is going over to our dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is go under theme options. And let me show you when we're using your responsive labs of child theme. It's this simple. You'll find it under theme elements and there'll be a new option. Add a full width background slider. What this does when you check it to enable and save it is it allows you to have one click placement of the Vegas slides uh, feature on your site. Now what's Vegas Slides? It's a new slider that's come out that's based on jQuery and it's responsive and it gives you the ability to have a beautiful background slideshow. But might, like many of the WordPress type um, plugins, it doesn't natively allow you to do this across the whole site unless you modify your theme. And since we want to make this as easy as possible, rather than causing you to go in and have to modify your template tags with our responsive lab zip child theme, you can just turn it on and off with an option. Pretty cool, right? So let me show you how that works. If I was to go back and just turn this off, click Save, and I refresh the page, the slideshow will be gone and it'll return to the normal baseline responsive lab zip theme. All right, let me show you what exactly we do to set this up. It's super easy. So let's go back to our dashboard. First thing you need to do is go to Plugins and install the Vegas Slides plugin. Now we provide this for you as part of the kit that comes with all of our labs of child themes, but you can also get it from the repository. When you get it, you'll activate it like normal in the plugins area of your dashboard. And then you can go ahead and add some slides. And that's super easy too. So for example, under Vegas Slides, you can go ahead and add a new slide. Now, in this case, there's one thing to tell you about which is unique. When you make a slide, I'm not really thrilled with the naming convention here because I think what there should have been is a difference of the naming to say, add a new slide show. Show because it's not really a slide. You can add multiple slides. You're adding a new slide show. I just like to say that. So <laughs> a new slide show. And it really doesn't matter what you name it here because with the plugin, you're basically gonna have one slide show showing up by default. All right, but I wanna show you how easy it is. Now, if you wanted to, in addition to the title, which can show up at the bottom of the site, you can also put some content in here too. I'm not going to do that because for me, I'm suggesting the best use of this is just to have the images running in the background. And you can always customize it further. Next is you upload some Im images. So that's super easy with the new WordPress 3.5 uploader. Click on Add Images. And I've gone ahead and set up just three of them here in a folder. Now, make sure that these images are reasonably sized. So since they're going to be showing across a responsive theme in its entirety, I would recommend at least 1200 pixels wide by 800 pixels high. Certainly you could do something larger, maybe 1600, it depends on the resolution. But don't try to get away with some 640 pixel wide pictures. They're gonna have to stretch to meet the default width of almost 900 pixels on responsive and this is gonna look funky. So again, at least as wide as the default setup of responsive, but I'd say 1200 pixels is a good goal to aim for. I'm just gonna open them and you'll notice the new response the new uploader is just super fast and automatic here. One of the cool things with WordPress 3.5. Now, before I close this window, I can drag and drop and change the order, which is super fun. All I gotta do is pick up the one and maybe I'll make that the first one or I can make this one the second one. Just that easy. I want you to make note of the fact that there is a number here. Now, by default, in order to ensure that this works, you wanna have that option put in. For this demo, I don't have that option number uh, box, but in the final version of the product, that comes with our lab zip child theme, it's gonna give you a, a dialog box that you can just type in this number. So take the number of the slide you, or slide show, you wanna use, and that'll be sure that it's the one displayed on the front. Uh, I'm sorry, across the whole site. Make sense? All right, when you're done, just publish this. And basically that's it. Once you've done so, then you have the option at any time to turn it on for the site-wide background. And we'll just do that again under theme options, theme elements, add a full width slider. By the way, this is where in the final version of this, because this is today's new release, I'm gonna have a little 
box. That's where you'll type in the number 13 or whatever the slideshow is. Okay. Click save changes, go back to your site and you should see that the slideshow begins again. Now I may make this a little more fancy and we'll see depending on demand where you can uh, um, have a thing called an overlay and an overlay is nice because that'll tone down the brightness of this a bit. Let me show you what that'll look like. Okay. So now I've activated the overlay and this is just basically a transparent or semi-transparent image that gives a little texture to the screen. It kind of tones down the underlying image. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can use any of our free included subtle background images, or you can grab one of your own from Dribbble or from Flickr, or maybe from one of the other sites like First Web Designer. Either way, the bottom line is that you can really have some control over what this background looks like and how fast it fades. And it's just a super nice effect. Now, let me show you lastly, while I'm about to close this out, because this will change the size of the screen, how this is responsive. So you see it's changing rapidly. As I shrink the dimensions down here, it doesn't make a difference. It's still running very content and happy and it'll work fine on iPhone, iPad, everything else because it's effectively not using any technology that um, like flash that wouldn't work on those devices. It'll work across all devices. So that's it. This is the new option included in our lab zip child theme for responsive and it's called the Vegas slider. And you can get the plugin again from the WordPress repository for free, but you'll have to make it work on your own or get our labs up child theme as part of this instructional video. You can get it with one click, turn on and off. It's that simple. This is Spence, the evil genius. I'll see you next time.